So from Las Vegas, we're at the Sands Hotel, where this is one of the most exciting events I've been at um, in about three or four years. I'm not kidding. It's, I'm hard-pressed to find a, a better reason to celebrate the Second Amendment than the SHOT Show, the Sportsman's Hunting Outdoors trade show. And, and here's one of the superstars of our genre of conservatism, broadcasting, music. The iconic Ted Nugent is here just ticking off the limbs. Your very presence here in Las Vegas, Ted, at the SHOT Show has to give them more hives and more <laughs> aggravation than you're here. And do you know how proud that makes me? And I just slid in from a Texas deer camp where I spent the most wonderful campfire with Staff Sergeant Patrick Ziegler, who was shot in the head by General Hassan at the Fort Hood workplace violence yeah, episode. The workplace violence. So my... Um, demand and, 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 and battle cry for self-evident truth in this culture war is never more powerful than every new day when I wake up because my, just my existence causes hippies to leap off cliffs like mindless soulless lemmings with pierced nipples. So I'm a happy man. <laughs> You know, we, uh, you're a hero to our side, obviously, and to our crowd. The talk radio world appreciates your voice. There, we're, we're grateful to, to you standing up for the military, for cops, for the Second Amendment. This kind of environment where over 60,000 people are here with all the latest ammo and, and, I mean, and, and guns and gun safety. And that's just what's on my belt you're talking that's about. Right here that's right here. That's just what's in this room. On yes. the belt buckle. Not the belt, just the buckle. <laughs> uh, but, but this is the kind of place where folks like you and I love to hang out. You've got to be really excited about the, the atmosphere here with all of these people who really have this sort of uh, celebration of the Second Amendment and everything that makes us free. Well, and Mike, you know, I'm 65 years clean and sober. I was raised in a hunting, shooting, freedom, being the best that you can be household. And I just wrapped up the greatest tour of my life in 2013. And I have little shot shows every night before and after my class. Literally, the shooting, hunting, outdoor TED show. Um, because I hang out with cops and farmers and ranchers and heroes of the military and their families and working hard, playing hard America who understands that tools are harmless little items. It's all about the tool handler. And the vast majority of Americans understand the right to keep and bear arms, that it's essential for freedom, it's essential for self-preservation, it's essential for stopping crime and saving innocent lives. So here when you have a giant convention like the SHOT Show, I come every year just to fondle hardware. <laughs> I come here every year because um, I'm a guns and ammo guy. In fact, I have a contest going with the National Shooting Sports Foundation right now, which I'm winning by the way. Who has more stuff on display, the SHOT Show or any one of my pickups? Up trucks. And you're ahead so I'm, I'm ahead by about 30,000 rounds. But this really has been my life. And I got to tell you, the, the essence and the, the, the emotion and power of my music is propelled by the essence and, and emotion and power of my musicians comes from our time shooting and hunting and fishing. When we rehearse, we don't smoke dope and then try to play music. We smoke M16s and then play real music. So, so this really is a big Ted Nugent camp in my sons, my daughters, my wife Shemaine, all my blood brothers, my fellow NRA members, and rock and rollers, and, and sportsmen, and fly fishermen, people from every imaginable walk of life, the best of the best, the productive Americans are found at the SHOT Show every year. Isn't it amazing, Ted, how the, a lot of, some people, not all, but many, many of the people on the left find the things that you just listed as something we should be sort of ashamed of, uh, and, and all the things that make us great. I wrote a book a couple years ago, 50 Things Liberals Love to and of course, a second, great book, by the way. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. But so one of them was the Second Amendment and hunters and sportsmen and all of that. Uh, the other day on NPR, um, Diane Rehm hosted a guest from the Coalition to Stop Gun Violence, and he went on a sleazy tirade against you. Uh, and going back to your your point that your very existence makes them crazy, cra cra makes them crazy. But he went on and on about T Ted Nugent is uh, you know he support he pretends to support the troops and supports cops and all that, but he 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 was a draft dodge. And he did all this crazy stuff. Even Snopes.com says, no, 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 no. That, that, never, that stuff never happened. And Dyer, on NPR, you know, this. what is it about the fact that, that, that Americans that treasure a, a, an event like this, treasure the right to keep and bear arms, all the things that Americans seem to love, liberals just love to hate? Well, what you're identifying is 
have been going on my entire adult life. I started running into the Joseph Goebbels propaganda ministry back in the 1960s that would attack me because I wouldn't smoke their dope with them and I wouldn't drop their acid with them. And I, I didn't aspire to drop out and fade away or whatever that pathetic drooling mantra was that these subhumans were blithering. And so they would attack me because I carried a gun and because I hunted deer and I fed my family venison. And I just can't think of anything more perfect than defending yourself and being a conservationist and providing the ultimate protein for your family and neighbors. But you, know, but you don't fit the mold though because you're this iconic musician. You're supposed to be a kind of a stoned out of your mind, out of touch liberal. You, you're not, you don't have Second Amendment values. You don't have conservative values. That's not supposed to happen to these guys on the left. Well, and I, I think it was the disciplined environment my dad raised me in. My dad was a drill sergeant in World War II, and he never stopped, by the way, which <laughs> I attribute the success and happiness and, and the fulfilled life of my sister Kathy, my brothers Jeff and John, and myself, all my kids, all my, all my buddies, all the people that I hang out with, I don't have any losers or bloodsuckers or, or crybabies. I don't know anybody that refuses to ask themselves what they can do for their country, but rather whine and squawk what their country must do for them. So, so when, when I see the Joseph Goebbels propaganda ministry under the new leadership of the Saul Alinsky dedicate my book to Satan punks out there, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, gun running Attorney General Eric Holder, I know that these people hate the foundation of the greatest quality of life in America and that they hate me proves that I represent the foundation of the greatest quality of life in America that has to do with being the best that you can be. And you'll find those in every hunting camp, every fishing camp, every shooting range, all the cops, all the heroes of the military, and everybody that hangs out with Uncle Ted. So I know I'm on the right side, and if it causes much grief to idiots, better for it. So be it. Yes. The, the great Ted Nugent is with us here at the SHOT Show in Las Vegas. Now, I would be in trouble that that pretty PR lady who said, don't forget that, that what you're supposed to mention, because we're so glad to have you here on the Mike Gallagher show, so I don't dare let you get away with, with with saying goodbye without reminding you about the show you're supposed to play. Well, I have a Ted Nugent Spirit of the Wild on Outdoor Channel for 24 years now. My wife, Shemaine, and I, we don't produce this show. We just push the record button. And we show the world uh, the perfection of hunting, fishing, trapping, and bringing value to God's wild natural resources. How do you bring them home, bring home the bacon, so to speak? And I have introduced an awful lot of young people via the rock and roll energy thing, which is a beautiful thing, Mike. I know you love it. Um, this uninhibited, irreverent, stand up for what you believe in, hunting, fishing, trapping, celebration, and promotion. You'll never hear me defend any of this. And Spirit of the Wild keeps getting the most important award ever, and that is the viewer's choice, because they see that the old guitar player is just a working hard, playing hard guy like the welders and the plumbers and the cops and the teachers out there, some of the teachers, and that they, and that they relate to what we do. And I've actually turned vegans into hardcore venison killers. Come on. I swear to God, people write us all the time and said they used to tune into Spirit of the Wild to further hate me for killing innocent creatures till they learned about sustained yield. They, they learned about carrying capacity. They finally learned for the old guitar player that Thanksgiving is in November because we're thanking God for the annual season of harvest, i.e. dead turkeys and venison haunches and, and bass. So, so I've woken people up to this reality, this hands-on conservation lifestyle that our, the American education ha system has absolutely failed to teach anyone. So we're very, very proud of that. Uh, I'm honored to spend a few minutes with you here, Ted. I hope you know how much we appreciate your time. Do you know, a final final question, do you, I'm sure you do, but I want to make sure. I, I, don't, I want to affirm it with you in person. Do you know how many millions and millions of Americans are grateful for Ted Nugent and what you stand for and, and literally putting up with the crap on from the left? And, and you do, so, you, you've been going through these attacks for, like you said, for many, many years. Do you know how much you're loved and appreciated by Americans? Mike, you follow the Nugent family around on tour to every city in America, throughout the hunting camps, throughout shows like this, walking the streets of Las Vegas at places that you wouldn't think there'd be a Ted Nugent support network. San Francisco, Mill Valley, New York City, across New Jersey. There are still people who live the self-evident truth that our founding fathers wrote in our Constitution, our Bill of Rights, that created the greatest quality of life in the history of the world. And I'm stopped 
constantly on the streets of this great country with a whole lot of attaboys. And I don't take it superficially because they're very emotional. If you go to my Facebook and you witness what goes on at my website, uh, people from not just around America, but people from around Europe and Asia and Great Britain, they come on and say, we wish we could live like you live, but we don't have a constitution. We don't have a Bill of Rights. So keep fighting, Uncle Ted. And it really inspires me. You know, the most dangerous thing in the world is not a sow grizzly bear with cubs. It's not a coiled rattlesnake. And it's not necessarily Ted Nugent in a rent -a car. The most dangerous thing in the world is Ted Nugent with more confidence. <laughs> and I've got more now than ever. Bills every day. We're great visiting with you. You and your family have a great time here. In Thanks, Vegas. Mike. Godspeed. Thanks for, Godspeed. Thanks for your fight. Keep fighting the good fight. My pleasure. The most important battle cry, freedom is not free. We have to earn it. Amen, brother. There's a lot more of the Mike Gallagher Show from the SHOT Show in Las Vegas coming up. Stay right there. Killer. Thank you so much. Great.